What's up guys, it's Jax the Legend here. Just kidding, it's Wild, and I'm here at AlphaCraft today. JJ's not with us, but we're going to be continuing doing some medieval building over in town. But first, I've got to grab some sandstone, so let's get mining. All this sandstone is going to be used to decorate the guild hall, and I've already got just over nine stacks, but I need a bit more. So let's continue mining. Alright, I've got plenty of sandstone. Now let's get started on this fabulous guild hall. Oh, almost home. It's quite a long walk for the mining desert. I even had to fight off some magma cubes and skellies with my fist on the way back. Hello, portal. And hello, home. Portal magic noises. And... Ta-da! Safe and sound. Alright, I better sleep and then we can have a look at the floor plan that we're going to be working with today. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Good morning. Okay. Let's go have a look at what we're going to be building. So this build is going to be created in a late medieval style. And we set out a floor plan for the guild hall on our stream last week. So here you can see kind of what we've got going on. It's quite a big building. Certainly the biggest one in the town so far. We're going to be having predominantly a rectangle shape. And then these bits that are sticking out from the walls are going to be buttresses that will divide the walls into sections and will have windows in each section. The walls will be mainly out of the stone brick and then we got all of this sandstone for the window decorations. I'm going to start by adding the walls that are going behind the buttresses. So I need to build up seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the stone bricks first. Then I'll go up five high with stone. That's three and then five and then one more up with the stone brick. Whee! Goodness, I might need to grab some scaffolding so I don't die all the time. Let's see if I have any in the chest. And that's not the chest. I do. Okay, that'll be helpful. So that is the height of roughly the walls and then we're going to have a decorative section going on top of this um, before the roof. But I'll also come forward and go up one more with the stone brick and then three with the stone in preparation for the decorations on the buttresses. Alright, now I have to do this on the rest of these. Oh, that's the wrong block. <gasps> oh no, I don't have any tools on me! Whee! I'm gonna grab some tools. I dumped them all in the dump it chest. That seems like a pretty important things to grab, really. I'm more prepared for the building, but not for the breaking. Hello, nice things chest. Let's see. Mm, don't need silk touch. Oh, I might for the stone. And I can grab my diamond one. For regular breaking. Do I need any other blocks? No, I don't think I need to break anything else. Just these. So this build is in a grander medieval style and once this one's complete we're going to be dotting some other builds in this grand medieval style all around the place to distribute the grandness through the more humble medieval builds. Alright, break my way up here. And then get rid of these ones which are placed in the wrong spot and switch to stone. Okay, let's not die here. Wee! Very good, very good. Alright, I'm going to be leaving these two free because these corner ones are going to have a different design. And I'll jump around here to the other side. Go 
gosh, I'm going to go through a lot of potatoes today. Oh, I love seeing the walls beginning to go up on a build. I only have to do one part of this, this, um, this wall here. I've already got part of the corner in. And I could multitask and put in this as I go. So I need to go up too high here. And then complete this wall. This is going to go super speedy now. I'm almost up to the last one. Alright, just some stone bricks on here. And then finishing off this corner. Then we'll add some decorations to these buttresses because they're a little bit plain at the moment. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then five and one. Oh, oops. Place them some random blocks at the last minute. Need some food and better. Let's see. Looking good. I've gone all the way around. Oh, hello building. So for these decorations, I'm going to grab some andesite because that's kind of like textured stone and I'll grab some walls as well. Then I want to make some stone stairs as well as some stone brick stairs. I've got those and I think I'll grab some chiseled stone brick as well. All right, stone brick stairs, check. Chiseled stone brick, check. Okie dokie, let's get building. Start on this one here. So I think I'm going to replace this block with the chiseled. That was good though to help lay out the build. And then I'm going to come up with some of the andesite. And some stone. And then I'll grab my stairs. To create a little point like this. Place some andesite walls. And, oh, I didn't grab any stone stairs. I'm going to grab some stone stairs. I want to make a fancy little pattern with them. Stone stairs, check. I have a bunch of a potato while I'm at it. I can probably put that in there. So yes, I'm going to grab some stone stairs. And I'm going to place them in a little square so I have a kind of a gap in the stone which um means you can see through to the stone brick behind it this one's going to be a bit tricky there we go like that okay going back up i'm going to place some more andesite for that textured stone look switch back to the other stairs oh i don't have quite enough spaces in my hot bar and finally i'm going to need some scaffolding for this i'll put on some andesite walls okay that's looking good and i think what i'll do is i'll once i've got the windows in i'll grab some stone bricks and some stairs and those sort of things and create little archways over the top let's see how this looks oh that's much more decorative okay let's build another one and see how it's coming together break so next i had andesite then stone, and then my stairs. Yep, yep. Then some walls. Love the um the the shape that you get with walls. It's a shape you can't achieve with other uh, without the walls. The depth, it's it's great, isn't it? Okay, create my little square. Then some andesite. Oh, this is where I need my scaffolding. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna need to jump down to here. I can't quite reach. Oh well. Scaffolding tower time. Okay, stairs go on next. The old inventory switcheroo. Woo! Oh gosh! Went flying then. And stairs. Ba oh no. Walls. Ba -ba. Break, break. That's level, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's good. Okay, let's see how it looks with two in. Looking good, looking good. I'm liking how this is coming together. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't grab the scaffolding. Okay, let's do some more of these. 
might even put all of these blocks in and then I can do it like a production line of stone bricking. Okay, now for the stone. Mm. Oh yes, that's right. So we have our little square. wonder if there's a way I can place these walls in <gasps> the walls that I'm lacking without having to use scaffolding. I don't think there is. You need to get above the walls to place them. They're tricky things, aren't they? Um, I don't even know if I... I might need to go andesite mining too. We're running low on that. It's alright, I've got enough for now. But if we use much more in the build, I'm definitely going to have to go and do some mining. Andesite is one of the trickier things to find I'm finding um, this time around. Maybe it's because we're using such a lot. Uh, back to the andesite and stone again. All the buttresses are in now and you can see how it's starting to look. You can also see the, how the panels are going to work. We're going to be having relatively sim similar windows across all of these ones. And then these two in the center, I think I'll have as stained glass windows. Then on this front section, which will be like a tower that towers above the height of the rest of the build, we'll have some different windows and our door on that side. But I think it's time to get started on these windows here. So first we'll start by putting in a bit of some wall decoration. Need to go two more up with the stone bricks here. And then I'll use some sandstone to create a little edge. Now for this window, let's see. The window decorations are going to sit in line with the wall and then we'll be creating a frame one block back for the, the glass itself. But let's start with some stairs. And some regular sandstone stairs in the center. Now I want to create a pattern with some stairs going up the side where you'll see the stone brick showing through from the back. I think I'll go upside down stair, block, and then let's see, right way up stair, right way up stair, right way up stair. So that's three right way up stairs. Let's go one more. And then I think I'll have to jump over and do the other side before I can create the curve at the top. So upside down and then like this. And then how many did I say? One, two, three, four, four stairs. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. Now I think I'll come in like this and I want to create the illusion of some leaded glass by using the blocks here. I'll place in some walls going up. I don't want this one here though. And uh, let's let's create a little archway over the top of the window. Hmm, this is going to be a bit tricky to place. Go like this, and then I'll do this on this side as well. I really like the look of smooth sandstone, how it all flows together. Uh, come up one more. And perfect, this forms the point that we want. Hang on, I'm going to have to jump down here. Wee! Ouch. Okay, so that's kind of the shape of the window. Uh, but I want some more decoration in here. I'm going to need some scaffolding for this. Okay, let's see. We'll use some birch fences. Birch is great because it is the same color as sandstone, which gives you an alternative to walls. Because I'm going to be using these here, and then they won't join up. Use some slabs and some more scaffolding. Uh, let's place this this way and then that away. And then I'll create um, a definition going up the center of the window with a block and some walls. Mm, yay, it all joins up. Let me take a step back. Grab that. Okay, so you can see how it looks like we have several little window frames inside this one larger frame. 
And then I'm going to take some of the stone bricks from behind. And let's see. I'll place these going up the side here. Which will fill in the little gaps of these stairs from the front. Um, and that'll mean we have a nice smooth shape to our window, but still with lots of detail. Uh, where do I want to come in? I think I'll come in over these blocks. And then the rest of the wall is going to be filled in with the um, stone brick, but I think I'll go up across this height here. Oh, oh no, I died! Oh well. It got me down quickly and I can have a look at how this looks. Oh, it looks very good. Oh, I can't wait to put in some glass, especially the stained glass windows. They'll be extra pretty. Before I add in the next window, though, I am going to fill in the hole at the top. So I'm going to build up there with some scaffolding. I'm going to come forward with the stone bricks to wrap around the window frame and then fill in the rest. And then I'll have the stairs going over the top following the shape of the window for the archway and that'll add some great definition and detail. But for now, let's continue with these window decorations. And I'm going to wrap this right around here. And I need these blocks, these cut sandstone. My inventory is all confused after dying. Everything's all over the place. Now for the wall, so how many high did I need to come up? Uh, let's see, an additional two. And back to creating a window frame. Oh, I'm dealing with my messy, messy inventory. That looks marvelous. I've got two more windows here in on the front side, leaving this big gap for the tower. And I think they just need one more thing, some buttons. And I'll place these on the cut sandstone and see how that looks. Oh, that's good. That's add some nice texture to the build. Got to do this one over here. This is going to be such a wonderful surprise for JJ when he's back next week. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe so you can see how the rest of this guild hall comes together. But by the looks of things, there's going to be a grand place for all the townsfolk to meet really soon. So with the sun setting behind me, that's going to be the end of this video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed joining me for some medieval building. I'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button and be sure to check out Patreon to support me and my bear friend JJ some more. See you in the next episode.